Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis and uh, please do click on my Patreon and help support the channel down below because we're becoming a crowdfunded channel. That's super awesome. Today I have an awesome video to show you because we're going to check out the TS100. If you're new to the channel and you're new subscribing to my channel, you haven't seen this before. The TS100 is probably the most popular portable soldering iron out there. It will allow you to solder, melt solder within about 15 to 20 seconds until you're ready to go to make field repairs. And it comes with an XT60 style connector. You can plug that into any 4S battery and you can solder just as good with this iron, I, I swear, as something like the Hakko bench iron. Uh, every bit as good as my other iron sitting on the bench over there, which I've already placed uh, several pins on that iron and they're around $50 um, to replace those so this one is actually under $50 right now which is kind of crazy so uh, this one has lasted me quite a while this is also removable so you can break this down even smaller and put it in a little tiny case like what you see over here with the ES120 I'm going to show you this little guy in a second but uh, right now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in this little guy and show you how quickly it melts solder and you're pretty much ready to go and so you can see there it has that little led display there I'm just going to press the button that it's telling me to and it's going to heat up now i'm going to go ahead and unplug this because i want you to see how fast this little guy will actually melt solder i'm just going to give you a live example of it also what's really cool about the ts100 is that the firmware on here is updatable there is a usb port on here you see that little usb port right there you can plug it into your computer and update the firmware which they have some really nice firmware updates so we're going to press both of these buttons at the same time go and see how long it takes to melt the solder here and well actually under 10 seconds so um, that's extremely fast it's already up to over 400 degrees right there and this soldering iron is so capable because I've actually done entire quad builds with this iron in um, under two hours. And I used the same 4S1300 for the entire build. It doesn't really suck the battery down quite as quickly as you'd think it would. And I know I did a video a while back on a little portable Hakko soldering iron, but that one's been sitting a lot. And I've been using this one mostly because it's just a little more portable. The other portable Hakko soldering iron, it's a little pin tip style soldering iron. It does take some like double a batteries in the back of it so that was kind of nice and portable uh, for the road but i think this is better because it does always use any type of 3s or 4s battery and i have these all the time on my flight trips and these are just much more convenient i don't have to go to the store and get double a so um, this one also does heat up extremely fast and performs almost better than my bench iron um, a lot of guys will use these for a solid bench iron um, right in the, the shop so you can also power this on an ac adapter i believe I'll, I'll try to put a link down below if i can find the ac adapter for you guys but um, very very nice to be able to use this in the field with a 4s 1300 now i want to show you the other little gadget on the bench that i've been using for the last several months and this is the es120 and this is by the same company which is super cool you get this little carrying case with a zipper here and what this is is this is an electric screwdriver that comes with a few different tips here. You can also get a variety of tips for these little guys. And I'm just gonna put the Phillips head screwdriver on there and we'll go ahead and start that up. See that little screw right there? You got your battery level, you see it's ready to work. So we're gonna go ahead. Now when I press this button right here, if I move left or right, it moves the direction that I'm moving it. So uh, if I want to take something off a quad, I'm just gonna push to the left there. And usually you have to do just one little turn manually, but look at that. And we'll do it again. It's got a pretty decent amount of power. And these are pretty nice because uh, just a little quicker than your traditional screwdriver. And I'll try to put a link down below for the full set of the different style 
connectors for these. And I'll try to put a link down below for the different tips for this. There's all kinds of different tips that you can get for this little guy, but um, pretty neat that it does work with an accelerometer and it has an auto off function. Once you're done using it, it conserves battery and it charges up with a little USB port on this end, but super awesome. It is made by the same company that makes the TS100. And uh, if I can find the even newer version of this one, I'll, I'll put that down in the link below as well. But I got this one from Gearbest and um, probably one of the coolest little gadgets outside my TS100 that I've gotten this year. Uh, both of these are just a must have for anyone's FPV toolbox. So thanks again for watching this review, guys. This has been the TS100 and the ES120 electric screwdriver. Um, I love both of these a whole lot.